Today we're continuing our studies on the Jezebel spirit. The uh, past two weeks you've heard us talk about different characteristics of the Jezebel spirit. Today we're going to be talking a little bit uh, with uh, Sister Lana Shoulders about uncovering the roots of the Jezebel spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. Amen. Amen. So, so Sister Lana, let's, uh, let's just hop right into this and you just lead us in the study and we'll get right on. Okay. Amen. Well, uh, like you said, our subject is uncovering the roots of Jezebel. Uh -huh. And a lot of that is rebellion, mm -hmm. you know. And rebellion is, is a sin of witchcraft. And so it's, it's, it's part of that. It's an evil uh, spirit. It's an evil mm -hmm. influence, you know. And so... Uh, I think we're going to read some scripture to okay. start it off All with right. in Numbers chapter 16. And I'm going to start with verse 1. And I'm reading um, from the New Living Translation. And uh, you may have uh, King James maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you might have a little bit translate a different translation there um, to work with. But um, chapter 16 of Numbers, verse 1. One day Korah, son of... Ishar, a descendant of Koath, son of Levi, conspired with Dathan and Abram, the sons of Eliab. Now that's very important right there. Keep in mind Korah, keep in mind Dathan and Abram, okay? okay? And that they were the sons of Eliab. And on the son of Peleth, from the tribe of Reuben, they incited a rebellion. Hmm. Keep him, that's a key word right hmm. there. They incited a rebellion against Moses. We know that Moses, right. you know, was called by God to be God's uh, mouthpiece and be a deliverer of Israel, you know. And so, and, and he also he's a type of intercessor, you know. And so uh, God raised up Moses as a godly leader, yes. you yes. know. And so... The, they were inciting a rebellion against Moses mm. as a leader. Okay, that's important right there. Not only that, this is the way the spirit of Jezebel works now, but along with 250 other leaders, wow. it always has a following. Mm -hmm. They will make sure that they have a following to lead away from the godly mm -hmm. leadership. Remember, Moses is God's man. Yes. You know, I think about uh, David, even when Saul uh, sought to kill him, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. and but, you know, David always honored Saul mm -hmm. in his position. Right. Always. We need to keep that in mm -hmm. mind. OK, let's get back to the scripture. That was the little sideline there uh, prompted by Holy Spirit. OK, it said that they incited a rebellion against Moses, along with 250 other leaders of the community all prominent, mm -hmm. not just 250 people, but prominent, prominent of people. influence, mm -hmm. prominent members of the assembly. They united against Moses and Aaron and said, you have gone too far. Wow. They united against Moses and Aaron, mm -hmm. God's leadership, mm -hmm. God's established leadership. Mm -hmm. This is dangerous. Dangerous to come yes. up against who God has anointed right. and appointed. Right. Okay? So it goes on to say, um, the whole community of Israel has been set apart by the Lord, and he is with all of us. What right do you have to act as though you are greater than the rest of the Lord's people? Now, see, mm. try to twist that, yes, you know. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of who was it? Um, was it Janice and Jambres that, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, that spoke against, my, you know, can't we prophesy mm -hmm, like, like mm -hmm. you, you know? And coming against the Lord's anointed, mm -hmm. twisting things and starting a rebellion against God's leadership. I'm telling you, it's dangerous. And it's prevalent today, too. It's very prevalent today. And, you know, in, in a time when we live in uh, where there's social media and everybody's just writing things and coming up against godly leadership mm. and speaking things, I'm telling you, it's dangerous, yes, it very is. dangerous, you know. And so even if we see them in air, you know, go to the Lord in prayer. I'm telling you, if you have a relationship with that person and if you can go to that person, that's one thing. Don't be sitting there just spewing everything right. out over social media right. and 
going behind the scenes and getting people disgruntled mm -hmm. and murmuring and complaining. You know, I think about the children of Israel in the wilderness. They began to murmur and complain, uh -huh. you know. And they had been <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And God wasn't pleased with that. No. He's pleased with our faith. Yes. You know, even when things don't look that's good. That's what moves him. Exactly. That's what moves the heart of mm -hmm. God. And that's what pleases him is our faith. Yes. You know, it, so we shouldn't be murmuring and complaining, you know. And so as we read here in this scripture, you know, Korah and, and, and um, Abram and Dathan, they uh, rallied up a bunch of people, uh, prominent mm -hmm. people of mm -hmm. influence to be disgruntled against mm -hmm. Moses, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to move on to, down to verse 12. Mm -hmm. And it says, Then Moses summoned Dathan and Abram, the sons of Eliab, but they replied, We refuse to come before you. Wow, rebellion. Again, rebellion all the way. Mm. This is a huge sign. And, you know, we, we talked about the spirit of Jezebel. Uh -huh. You know, there's no gender there. It will operate through male and female mm. because it's a spirit, yes. you know. Yes. And so uh, wherever there's a willing vessel to uh, cooperate mm. in the, the, the demonic realm, actually, and this is what's happening. It's rebellion, mm. which is the sin of witchcraft. You know, and uh, so they're, they're coming against Moses and they say, I, I refuse, mm. or I refuse to come before you. Verse 13, isn't it enough that you brought us out of Egypt, a lamb flowing with milk and honey to kill us here in the wilderness? Accusatory, <laughs> accusing. <laughs> so it says, um, you know, to kill us here in the wilderness and that you now treat us like your subjects. So trying to twist things, mm -hmm. okay? What's more, you haven't brought us into another land flowing with milk and honey. You haven't given us a new homeland with fields and vineyards. Are you trying to fool these men? We will not come. Again, obstinate, stubborn, stiff-necked, mm. you know. <laughs> Yes. You, this, what you know did yours read? read? You, know, uh, what, you know what this reminds me of? Uh -huh. I mean, the very same thing that, you know, we're going through, uh, for instance, in the government and things of that nature, people refusing to, you know, exactly. to do this and to do that. God's word is forever. Exactly. You know, and I hear a it's, lot of people, you know, uh, talking about afraid that, you know, God's word is going to go away. And, you know, it could, but you know what? His, his, his word says uh, that his words will remain forever. 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 Yes. And if we're in the Word, and if we study the Word, and we're going to retain it then. Exactly. And, but that's why it's so important that you and I and everyone else teach the next generation what Amen. the Word says. Yes, uh, yes. That when, when things are changed completely or... Or, you know, man tries to, you know, do away with this. You know, I've, I've heard... Even some translations. Yes, you know, yes. I've heard some rumors about, you know, they're wanting to take all about the blood out of the Bible and different things. But this, you know... It just blows my mind that uh, we will not come. Right. I mean, they're being stubborn and rebellious. Right, right. And, and uh, thinking, uh, if they would just stop and think, look what he has brought us from. God yes. sent him as our deliverer. Yes, what yes. it was, they, be, they were becoming too impatient. Right. And they started thinking in the carnal. Right, right. And, and, you know, what they wanted. Right. And it was that spirit again right. rising up. Right, I mean, the Jezebel spirit is... is is the oldest time. Right. That's Amen. True. That's true. That's a very good point. It's all about what they wanted mm -hmm. instead of what the Lord. And also, you know, having that grateful heart, you know, oh, I've been yes. brought out of Egypt, which mm -hmm. is the type of the world, been brought out, you know. Mm. And yes, when God makes a promise, you know, he's going to take us into the land of milk and honey. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, his promises are yes and amen, amen. in Christ Jesus. Right. And, you know, uh, the word is forever settled in heaven. Amen. It's true, you know, yes. and yes, it may take some time. And so to have that patience, which is a fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. 
So we have to be yielded to the Spirit of the Lord Amen. in order to bear the fruit of the Spirit, That's right? Right. right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I just wanted to share those passages of Scripture, you know, and uh, give an example where the Jezebel mm -hmm. spirit was operating in these men, Korah and Dathan and Abram, against Moses mm -hmm. and led a bunch of other uh, prominent, influential mm -hmm. men in rebellion against Moses, which is God's appointed and right. anointed leadership. And so, you know, you don't want to be in that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's, this is part of uncovering the roots of Jezebel, which is yeah. our subject, you know, is about that rebellion, you know, and which is undermining. It tries mm -hmm. to undermine mm -hmm. authority. Under my, that you don't know, really know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. say if I'm looking at you, you don't really know what you're doing. You know, don't you think you ought to do it this way? Look what you brought us out here, you know, and begin has, to complain about it. Has God really spoken to you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So try to twist it around, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, it, it's just not a good thing at all. Mm -hmm. So what Korah did, it was exalted his own will mm -hmm. Yes. Above Moses, mm -hmm. which was God's appointed man, you know. Amen. And so those that operate with the Jezebel spirit, they operate in rebellion at the core mm -hmm. of their being. That's mm -hmm. the, that that's the that's one of the deep roots of uh, uh, uncovering the spirit of Jezebel right. is that rebellion right, right, right. there. First of all, you got to recognize that. Also, it will try to impose upon others. Witchcraft imposes yes. its will by manipulating mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. which is part of, you know, again, it, it's just witchcraft, you know. And it, so it comes through wounded, which I think we touched mm -hmm. on this in uh, our last segment. It comes through wounded, bitter, mm -hmm. overlooked people, full of pride, self-promotion, and self-pity. Mm -hmm. You know, this is where we should always guard our hearts when we get into a place where we want to get in self-pity. Right. And we all find ourselves at that place at times where we want to wallow in self-pity. Mm -hmm. And what happens, we want to get other people to wallow with we us to in our misery. to the pity party. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, here I am. I'm having a pity party. Come on into my pity party, right. you know. And before you know it, then you're murmuring and complaining about whoever's in leadership. And you feel like, oh, they're overlooking me. They're overlooking my gift, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, there could be a possibility. They may be overlooking mm -hmm. your gift. But, you know, the scripture says our gift will make room for us. Yes. Who are we depending upon, man or God? That's right. That's right. That's the bottom line right there. Sometimes we can be our own hindrance. Exactly. Yes. So, you know, God, he's mm -hmm. the one that opens mm -hmm. up doors that no man can shut. That's right. And he shuts doors that no man can open. Mm -hmm. And I believe that if it's doors shut, it's though it's because it's for our good mm -hmm. and for the good of other people as well. And, but we'll we'll find ourselves going back and trying to open that door, <laughs> and uh, not recognizing that God has put an end to that season. Exactly. Yes. And uh, but the reason He shut it, there's something much better. Exactly. And there's exactly. another level. Amen. Exactly. Exactly. God. He works all things for the good of those that are called according to His purposes. Is that is that not what His mm -hmm. Word mm -hmm. says? And so we have to trust God in all of that. If He shut a door, like you said, there's something better for us. I'm reminded uh, of the quote someone said one time: "Complain and remain." Praise and be raised. Oh, that's good. Say that again. Complain and you'll remain. When you praise, you'll be raised. Oh, wow. Yes. So God inhabits the praises yes, of, his of his people. people. Amen. Yeah. And so we give him something to work with. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That is so good. I had to get you to repeat that. <laughs> yeah. So you all retain onto that word. Okay. Yes. It's uh, also uncovering the roots of Jezebel. Um, there's a root of bitterness. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we have to guard our hearts against the root of bitterness. Uh, the root of bitterness is also linked to selfishness mm -hmm. and pride. Again, going back to self, what is pride? You know, I think about Lucifer, you know, he mm -hmm. was the chief worship leader in heaven and he began to exalt, exalt himself and began to think that he was above God, you yes. know. And see, another example, he took... 
angels with him that now we know as demons because they rebelled mm -hmm. against mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So there were fallen angels. So again, uh, the, someone operating in this Jezebel spirit, which we could, I guess we could say, you know, Lucifer was mm -hmm. operating in this. Mm -hmm. This is part of that evil spirit. It will always try to take other people right. with them. Uh, whether the Jezebel spirit was, is, is uh, moving within a ministry or a church and when they get what they want, they take people with them. Exactly. It separates the people. Exactly. It sows to discord. The Jezebel spirit thinks that, you know, if I can get these people out of there, then, you know, that's going to fall. They, they operate under the, the spirit operates under the assumption that just because they're not there, that <laughs> things are going to fall apart. Right, right. And, you know, and, and I often say, I often say that, uh, you know, when God calls you right. and He ordains you, right. He chose you uh, before you even had all these people, everything, He's still going to use you. He, it's not going to fail. Uh, the Word of God says, what does it say about uh, except the Lord build it? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will fall. It will fall. Right. So, uh, it's it, like they labor in vain. Right. Uh, yes. you're not, it's not contingent upon those people. Right. We need to rely right, on God. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you know, all of us that have uh, walked with the Lord mm -hmm. and in leadership mm -hmm. and everything, there's people that's going to come and they're going go. to go. And you that's, know. you know, that's okay. And it's all part of the course, mm -hmm. you know, and some of them are supposed to go, you know, because God's moved them on to something else. Mm -hmm. God has a different assignment for mm -hmm. them, you know, and it, God puts us with different people, different seasons of our lives. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when someone leaves, God will always raise somebody else up. Every single time. Every time, you know, because we're just trusting God, right. you know. And so um, I, I think that was a good scripture, you know, because unless the Lord builds the house, mm -hmm. those that labor, labor in vain, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's God that builds the house. That's He's right. the one that does it. Our dependency is on Him it's all, all the time. Him. We all have him. to recognize Amen. that all the time. So, uh one of the uncovering the roots is a root of bitterness. Mm -hmm. uh, was it the Apostle Paul that said, I perceive that you're in the, the, the gall, uh, uh, bond of iniquity mm -hmm. and, and the, gall, uh, oh, the gall of bitterness and the bond of iniquity, mm -hmm. you know. And so uh, have to recognize that that's at work, you know. Right. And whenever we see that, if we see that in ourselves, when the Lord begins to bring that to the surface, oh Lord, you know, I repent of this. Mm -hmm. You know, Holy Spirit, come in, cleanse me yes. of this root of bitterness. You know, it is, it is so ugly, you know. Uh, and when you allow that root of bitterness to take root in, in your mm -hmm. heart, uh, then it wants to take out vengeance, which mm -hmm. we talked about, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the last segment. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, and, you know, bitterness brings despair. Yes, it does. You know, I, I, I think that many, when they find themselves in depression, mm -hmm. uh, which d despair, I, there's a root of bitterness there. Mm -hmm. they're, they're angry. They're, it's suppressed anger. Mm -hmm. And so have to, that has to be uprooted. That's one of the ways where we don't let uh, Jezebel come in, right, right. you know, getting that root of bitterness out, you know, because bitterness can be contagious. Oh, yes, it you can. You know, like the flu or mm -hmm. whatever. It can be contagious. The virus. <laughs> and we don't want that spreading. You know, I've seen people uh, get a spirit of fence, which goes along with mm -hmm. that bitterness, you know. And before they, before you know it, they've got a whole bunch of people on that bandwagon mm -hmm. of a spirit of offense, being mm -hmm. offended. Mm -hmm. And we cannot afford that. No. You know. And, and when they have that spirit of fence, you know, with the bitterness, you know, uh, they begin to murmur and complain yes, just like they yes, did. Yes, yes. And, and doing those types of things. And that's why, like I said in the previous program, it's so important. We need to have a basic teaching of discipleship. Yes. Uh, we, uh, sometimes we get so depressed or embittered that uh, we, can't, we can't recognize the fact within us. Right. And uh, so we can't recognize others. the fact when the enemy tries to steal our joy. Right. And to steal our peace and, right. and, you know, and your victory. Right. Because, uh, you know, when the, when the Jezebel spirit does all these things, you know what? Your victory's gone. Right, right. 
and, and, and you're walking in right. all those things, and you've allowed the, uh, the Jezebel spirit uh, simply just strangle you, you know, like we were talking earlier about the python spirit. Right, right. And we were on the same mind. I was thinking right. that when you were saying <laughs> that about the python spirit. But there's so much, so much that as uh, children of God that we need to brush up on. Yes, yes. And listen to you. Right. Yes, are there going to be some false teachings out there? Yes. Yes, it is. There will. That's where, if you're in the Word and you seek the face of the Father, right. yes. He, the Holy Spirit will enlighten us and right. show us what's true and what's right. not. Amen. He said He'd lead us and guide us into mm -hmm. all, all truth. truth. Praise God. Amen. I'm so thankful for that. Amen. So we we're talking about a root of bitterness leads to despair. And I was thinking about Elijah that we mm -hmm. spoke of mm -hmm. earlier, you know, a prophet of God, you know, one, all these victories won and then fled from Jezebel. Mm -hmm you know, in fear and was in despair in the cave, you know. And so that, that that's one of the ways to recognize what's right. in operation, right. you know, when you feel despair like that. And so, and, you know, and also um, it bears bad fruit, you know, just like mm -hmm. when we yield mm -hmm. to Holy Spirit, we yield the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. And so when yes. we yield to these type of things, the root of bitterness, uh, it, it, it produces bad fruit, mm -hmm. nothing but bad fruit. And, you know, just like a rotten piece of fruit, it's going to affect all the other fruit around it. Oh, yes. You know, you've bought it like a bag of oranges, you know, and it, it may be, one may be rotten. And then yes. all before you know it, the, the whole bag becomes yes, I rotten. I recently had some apples. There was an apple in the center. <laughs> exactly. And it got bad, and several of them around yeah. it. Yeah became rotten as yeah. well. So we have to take care of that because mm -hmm. it's going to affect others, mm -hmm. you know. So we have to examine ourselves and, you know, Lord, root that out of us. Amen. So this is part of uncovering the roots of Jezebel. Another root is a root of bondage, which I think goes along with what you were speaking of earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like when it... Um, uh, Jezebel intertwines with the, the spirit of Python and tries to uh, bring us in bondage, mm -hmm. you know, and just choke the very life out yes. of us, you know, yeah. and it, it leads to fear, mm -hmm. you know, and fear is opposite of faith, That's right? right? That's right. And, you know, um, and so it also leads to depression, you know, uh, it brings enslavement, you know, control, uh, legalism, mm -hmm. you know. Well, sometimes we don't think about that. And uh, this is an important part. Uh, it also makes one uh, have the sp spirit of entitlement. Oh, And yes. we live in a time mm -hmm. where so it's many very people prevalent. <laughs> feel like they're entitled mm -hmm. to so much, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that goes back to not being, having a heart of gratitude mm -hmm. and being thankful and being content with such things as you have, you know. Um, just like you, uh, you were speaking about, you know, the car that you had, mm -hmm. you know, be thankful for that. But, you know, God's got something better, mm -hmm. but be thankful for what you have at the Amen. time Amen. and not feel like you're entitled to right. something, right. you know. Well, you know, God has taught me over the years, you know, to wait. Yes. Because he, he says yes. he will reward us openly. Yes. And when I look, Lana, uh, about, about how, how far he has brought me and my husband, yes. how much he has blessed us with. You know, I'm, I was talking with someone the other day about all they could think about is what they didn't have. Oh, wow. And, and I tried to encourage them, stop and think about it. Look around you. What do you have? Right. What right. has God blessed you focus with? Focus on those and things. Focus on those things. And then and you can look around and you'll see someone that's a lot worse off oh, than you yes. are. Always, always. Always. But, you know, that's the way the enemy does. He wants to get our mind focused right. off of Jesus. Right. And onto the things that well, we don't have mm -hmm. the, you know, and, and bitter us about it. Right. Right. Amen. So we're still <coughs> talking about uncovering the roots of Jezebel. And uh, one of those roots is fear, mm -hmm. in which we just spoke about, mm -hmm. which is opposite of faith. And I, I thought about Job, you know, so the very thing that I feared came upon me. Mm -hmm. You know, fear breeds fear. Mm -hmm. it, it breeds those things. Oh, you and know. it spreads. It oh, spreads. yes, oh. yes, yes. And so, you know, it, uh, sometimes fear can even begin in our childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be an open door for things, you know, and then as we get older, you know, um, our soul gains rule and, 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 and it 
gains control over us. Mm -hmm. You know, if we uh, continue right. to, to wallow or that fear has come in. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes even as parents unknowingly can um, invoke fear upon their children about certain things, you know, and mm -hmm. That, that, that brings a foothold there. Right, right. And so um, may even um, um, cause them where they're not able to even make decisions, you mm -hmm. know. And so that's part of allowing a child to be able to grow up and mature and make decisions for themselves. And even if they fall, you know, they've got to be able to do that. Yes. And, you know, and then, you know, uh, the righteous man falls, mm -hmm. you know, but the Lord will uphold him. him, you know. And so it's the same way in the, in the spiritual. And so um, another key is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. It's a big <laughs> one. And you know, we have to do that over mm -hmm. and over and over again, you know. And you know, the, the scripture talks about, you know, how how many times should I forgive my brother? Mm -hmm. You know, 70 times 70, seven. <laughs> you know, it's seven. multiplication there. And sometimes we just can we have to continually Amen. do that over and over. And sometimes we have to forgive ourselves, not oh, just yes. other people, but forgive mm -hmm. ourselves of things, you mm -hmm. know. And, you know, Lord, forgive me. You know, ask forgiveness from the Lord, you mm -hmm. know. Forgive me for operating in this, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see, Lord, you brought this to my attention. Forgive me where I've been operating, you know, in this root of bitterness or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, forgive me for operating in that, you know. And so that's a must. Yes. And if we want to be forgiven, we must forgive. I mean, Scripture makes that plain. Yes. <laughs> it, it does. And, and, There's and no way you can work around exactly. out there. There's no loophole. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And that's one of the things that Amen. hinders our prayers. Amen. Is, Amen. is our yes. forgiveness. And Praise so um, prayer, patience, you know, forbearance. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and sometimes we even accept lies from the enemy and we you know, need to come out of agreement mm -hmm. with the lies, you know, that's either been believed, you know, uh, falsely or embraced or accepted, you know. Amen. And so uh, we have to come out of agreement with the lies. If it doesn't line up with what God has spoken about us mm -hmm. or over us, mm -hmm. we need to come out Amen. of agreement with that. Amen. Well, this has been good. I hope you're enjoying this. Please let us know by emailing us or messaging us on Facebook. Um, at the end of the program, uh, you'll, you'll see the credits and you'll see how to contact us. Stay tuned till, uh, for next week. Join us as we continue our study on the Jezebel spirit. I want you to walk in love and I want you to keep your faith. Bye for now. Encounters is sponsored by Vessels of Honor Worldwide. AAA Enterprises and the viewers. If you would like to contact Encounters, email encounterswithgod at comcast.net or write to us at 117 Sunset Place, Portland, Tennessee 37148.